how did you learn that art of turning off? You know, um, give a little bit of context. Um, doing radio, which for example, there was a time I used to do like the late night show. So I used to be called Dr. Love, which gave me a lot of traffic, by the way, like on my timeline, my nanny. So it gave me unnecessary attention, which, <laughs> which is okay for business, uh, but it's, it takes a toll on your personal life as well. Yeah. But then you have to move from there. You have a big corporate event with like a multinational where people expect you to speak the lingo, talk the talk, walk the walk. Yeah. So you're not going to be the same Dr. Love, blah, blah, blah. Mm. You're going to go in, put up your briefcase, Wear your suit, be proper. Now, at the same time, you have your voice gigs and what you're doing. Today, you're told to be a child. So you have to dramatize your voice as a child. Today, you're being told, So you're changing your voice to be that gangster. You know, <clears throat> then you're also being told, Kwamba, you're going to be in a meeting. And you're going to be with a lot of expats that are going to be around there. And you're going to have to present A, B, and C align. Think about the promotion or the events, because I used to do a lot of <coughs> events back in my days. Mm. So I wore different hats. And, you know, I, I could do it because I remember back in the days when I used to do radio and TV, my working hours was like four or five hours. But when I, when I, when I shifted my, my 360 life back in 2019, where I just I decided to do like the commercial side. Yeah. I changed. I started working 10, 11, 12 hours. Sometimes I go 14 hours, a lot of hours. Then I said, Seba, you have been on for too long. Turn, on, turn it off. The world will still move. The world will continue walking, talking, doing business, even if you're not on. And you know what? Because I chose me at a time where I felt tired. I chose me at a time where I felt like I'm, I'm enough and I'm doing enough. I don't have to prove to myself. I don't have to prove to the world. The way social media is going fast, LinkedIn, Instagram, everybody's posting, they're doing this. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm putting on the table. And I just have to take a seat back, the back seat and watch other people drive. Now that, okay, now I'm a leader mm -hmm. in the company. I work as head of promotions there. But taking the back seat, I'm also letting my team run right let them walk yeah. let them trust them yeah. listen to them yeah and now you're also going to be moving either that's also the only way other people learn and, and grow with you yes yeah but if you're always going to be on on and you want to be aggressive the the person that's running ship when are you going to let other people run ship mm -hmm. you know so i i toned it down i had to i had to do it for my sanity mm. I had to do it for my physiology. I had to do it for the people around me as well because um, it's not fun being on. I mean, it's nice and great to say, Kwamba, you're the, you're the person that get shit done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's not, fun and, it's not fun and great when you are the same person that falls back or falls down and people don't know that you're having a hard time. 